Hey guys, this is Anna from Anna Travels. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you watched the last vlog that you saw that I went through the Semper Fi um, Memorial um, Park, I think it's actually a park, not just trails. Um, today, we're actually going into the museum um, and checking it out. We actually we haven't been in like what two years? It's been a yeah. it's been a wee bit since we've actually um, been in. Um, I do know that they are still expanding the museum. Um, but I'm not entirely sure at what uh, part they have gotten to. Um, I used to actually volunteer at this museum as a docent and as a hospitality... Um, I forgot what they called it. Hospitality... I forgot. Hospitality. So uh, we're just going to check it out. And it's kind of rainy, but there she is in the museum. Yeah, that's right. The weekend we got, we got Indy? I met Indy. Stress is intense and unrelenting. How about I ask for no? Cause we didn't teach you that, right? We didn't teach you that. Knock your body to group, okay? Put your hands on. Put your thumb on like a drop seat. Put your feet on for the body, Greg. Okay? I want your fingers supposed to be. How's your hands supposed to be? I know your fingers are supposed to be and sit in the joint when you give a dang on head salute. Knock your body. If you come to the museum, they have this timeline. In essence, it's Marine Corps history on top, and then um, U.S. history, or history of the time. I'm not sure if it's just purely U.S. No, it's not just U.S. history, because there's Gandhi. So I think it's actually a really fun little thing to kind of connect you to the time period. Um, I had an ex-boyfriend. Um, his stepfather... I, don't, I forgot what it was. I don't know if it was a coin, like a challenge coin, or I think it was actually one of his medals. I think, is it right here? Actually, yes, yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Um, I think that's his, uh, his medal, service medal. I think that's him. I, it's been so long. I really don't remember his last name. I just remember my ex's. Actually, I don't remember my ex's last name. So anyways, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. areas that was more interactive for the kids that closed due to corona. I have to say, like, the museums have been pretty fun with their social distancing, like, maps here in uh, Stranford <laughs> and the Smithsonian.
sergeant was a Marine veteran. His cheeks were bronzed with the wind and sun of the seven seas. I make no charge. And he turned to give the charge order to the men of his platoon, his mates, the men he loved. He said, too late to defend themselves. The assault companies had no radios. The wristwatches were synchronized. From thousands of years away, they were told The cable on the shore of the world meant peace in our time. So it's been pretty busy because I mean it's Veterans Day so uh, there's a lot of people in the museum so I haven't really been talking much because uh, it's been crazy. <laughs> uh, we're about to see the Iwo Jima flag. Um, I know they had plans, if you don't know, there are two Iwo Jima flags. They have the one flag and then they replaced it with another flag. The museum has both, and I think that there were plans to actually have both of them on display, but that was like when I was here volunteering, so I'm not even sure. I guess I'll find out if they have both flags. Um, but if you have never seen the flag, it's so worth the trip to come out here and see it. It's, I don't know, it's history, and it's amazing. So we'll be in awe in just a moment. Those are the two flags, the first flag that they put up on Mount Suribachi, and the second flag. And this is the second flag. So this is kind of a unique memorial to every death on Iwo Jima. You can see those little dots, I'll get closer in a second, represents a death. Marine Corps, Navy, and one Coast Guard. You can see Mount Suribachi and the ships and the water. Let's get closer. So each emblem represents a death. Marine Corps, Navy, and then there's one Coast Guard. I just wanted to give an update. So apparently after we shot that scene, we actually talked to the do docent that was like on duty. He actually said they just took down the second flag. They were concerned about the lighting damaging the flag, which is a valid concern. And that's why a lot of like, you know, fabric type items are usually behind like a clear uh, or, or a special glass, but they were just concerned how it was hitting the first flag. So that's when we just literally missed it. He said they just decided to take it down. So that's why we didn't see the fir first flag. Pro talkers, but I guess the video or the interactive thing is turned off due to COVID. An interesting story about this flag. Um, when they put it in the museum originally, there was a Japanese family that came in and they actually had it backwards. <laughs> so the Japanese family actually told them that they had it uh, upside down and they corrected it. So we're eating at Tun Tavern. You order off of an app. The camera's not focusing, so you can't really see. Tun Tavern, not in Philadelphia, but 
or Quantico. They have a restaurant here that serves meals. They also have a cafeteria, but the cafeteria is closed right now, so it's just the Tun Tavern as your option for food. The menu is pretty basic, just you know, sandwiches, burgers, um, fries, you know, some I think there was some salad options and some like, wraps. So nothing too insane or crazy, but having a cider. Um, I think it's actually from Virginia. Yeah, Virginia cider. Chris is having a beer. I ordered fish and chips and he ordered chili. So we have some food. Then we'll go a little bit more around the museum. So I got fish and chips with fries. Well that is fish and chips and then husband got a Philly. Another little add-in. Don't get the fish and chips. Get a cheeseburger or any of the other stuff. It wasn't that great. Uh, we actually had to rush to get to meet somebody, so that's why I didn't really do a full review of the food um, after, I mean, during our time at the museum, because uh, a friend told us that we had to go meet him. Like, we had to go meet a friend real quick, so. So there's this photo, what do they call it, like photojournalism? where they show people in the military after the military. Thymus is really super awesome because beneath the uniform we are still people with families, hobbies, lives. It's part of the Pentagon building fragment from 9-11. This is part of the World Trade Center.